It's totally platonic, totally platonic, totally platonic, totally platonic, totally platonic, totally platonic. Hola mami, what you wanna drink? Hola papi. Oh, don't call me papi. Don't call me mami. Fine, I will call you wifey. And I will uh, hand in your facey. In my facey or my assy assy? You're fucking nasty. I'm nasty but flirty. Shut up and bring me a Pepsi. A Pepsi. Or a wet kissy kissy. I'm gonna call the police. Un Pepsi para la señorita. I am so I want waffle fries. Guys, you can go ahead and get started on the assignment now. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? Yes, what's up? You're on the right track, but you're forgetting the last two steps. There you go, you're getting closer, okay? You're getting closer. Well, no, see, now you're forgetting the last part. Remember, carry it over. Now take that number and divide it out by 100. Perfect. Bingo, you got it. Uh huh. Yeah, what's up? Number 11? Okay, what was it? What was it? Uh, yeah. Girl, I love you when we. Hello everybody and welcome back to class and since it's October 1st I thought we could go around and say what our favorite Halloween activities are. Halloween? Oh, what is this? We do not celebrate. Oh, okay. Well, maybe the other kids can tell you. Riley? No day. You go up to people's houses at night and demand candy and hope it's not booby trapped. Okay, that's not, the, that's not the best description. But the only catch is they'll only give you candy if you dressed up real nice for them in a costume. Uh, costumes. Like what? A princess. A pirate. A police officer. A horror flick psychopath. A controversial political figure. For the most part, it's just adult professions or anything that makes you seem like an adult. Okay, I don't- Oh, and the best part is, is you can throw toilet paper and eggs at people's houses once you obtain the candy. No. Okay, let me get this straight. So you dress up to appear older than you are in most cases and then trespass on people's property and then bang on their door and demand free candy, gambling on the fact that it could be laced with something or have razor blades in it and in return you vandalize the property with things you can find in the bathroom or the fridge. And you are trying to terrorize and take advantage of as many homes as you can this night, da? Yeah, that about assumes it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. This is amazing. This is new favorite holiday. That sign us up. Absolutely. Oh god. Yeah, fuck no. I go where I want to, but I'm stuck in my bedroom. I'm telling lies to keep myself from hurting those around you. Yeah, after all these years, I found you. I found you. Jesus, I don't understand men. Like, is this supposed to be interactive? I don't understand. What what the fuck was that? What were you even- Oh shit! Oh shit! No, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, mommy! Sorry! Fuck, sorry! I Brother! Help me! Long live the king! Ah! Here comes the boy! Hello? Hey, bitch! What am I doing? I'm about to go on a date. What's up? You're in an emergency. How are you in an emergency? I just talked to your mom. She said you were in your room. Where are you? You snuck out and went to a party. Oh my god. Sometimes I think my bad bitch jeans are just too strong for this family. Hey, I don't get it. If you already successfully snuck out and you're already at the party, might as well just say bottoms up, right? What's the emergency? Your ex showed up. Oh, honey, you can't let the immature, emotionally unintelligent man-child determine whether or not you're gonna have a good time. And there's no tequila. 
Oh my god, you should have started with that. That's the emergency. I'm on my way. What about my date? Oh no, you thought I was going to go on a date with the person? No, I was going to take myself on a date. Who do you think I am? Oh god, you call this a party? This is disgusting and sad. <laughs> right here, bitch. Okay. Uh, piece of advice. If you're gonna sneak out and go to a party, at least have it be worth it. You could have three times the fun at an Applebee's. Oh, wait, which one's your ex? Ew, that one? The one that's looking at us? Ah, you! Avert your gaze! You do not have the right to look at two bad bitches like us. Yeah, turn the fuck around. Let me sit this ass.